I'm gonna look into this. We are going to commence the drama portion of the stream. What'd you miss? Nothing, literally nothing. R slash classic wow. Let's take a look. <clears throat> oh my God, almost 10,000 upvotes. Okay. Let me turn on some smooth jazz. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna play smooth jazz. Where is my favorite jazz mix? <clears throat> Where is the jazz mix? Soul jazz. Yeah, this will do. <clears throat> yeah, this will do. Can you give me some advice now to get my wife to cook me some dinner? Say, hey, baby. Hey, can you make me some dinner, please? I'd really appreciate that. That's my, that's, that's, that's what I can say, dude. Streamer gets a priest dispeller banned six months because he thinks he was targeted. GM watching the stream just does it for him. Oh boy, dude. Which streamer? Let me guess who. Sure as fuck isn't me. <laughs> you th you think GMs? You think anyone important watches this stream? No, dude. Hey, no. This is this is a complete fucking society's reject, degenerate, you know, absolute fucking you know you don't like you you guys know, you guys know what we are. You guys know how you guys know what this community is. You know, okay? Don't even don't even front. Don't even lie about it. We know who we are, okay? We don't we don't have any of that shit, okay? Don't, don't, don't fucking cap, don't fucking colon capital D me. You know, you know what this is. You know what this community is, okay? You know what we are. Let me take a look here. <clears throat> Let me see. Take a look. Yeah, and just to clarify, this is the largest classic wow foot fetish, foot fetish community stream. That's true. Okay. Let me take a look here. Oh, there's a, there's a clip. There's a whole clip here. Well, let me go ahead and full screen this. Now, now this is going to be hot. Let me move my webcam up here. Hold up. Okay, it's Ar Arlius. Wait, they they linked a nine hour vod. Why is this? Jesus Christ! These guys really don't know what they're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Three nineteen. Okay. Let me see. Let me open it back up. Let me open it back up. <clears throat> open it back up. 319. 319. Three, I'll do 31830. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait, why is this quality so fucking dog shit? Hold up, give me a second. Quality, Saurus, okay. 36 seconds. Boy, he's inside Zulgrub right now. <clears throat> he's in ZG. He's getting Songflower off screen. Okay. People are running around this song fire like crazy right now, like stand still people. Okay. So he's getting song flower off screen. Somebody needs to explain the dispel griefing shit to me. How can you de grief dispel someone in an instance? He I just said three times. He's getting song flower on a different character off screen. You can't dispel someone in an instance. You cannot. He's on a different character off screen getting song flower. Not in an instance. <clears throat> I believe that's the current the situation. Summon? I need to see his chat. I just got fucking dispelled. Okay. F. F, F, F. Dispelled. Dispelled. Somebody, somebody on our server. Uh huh. Somebody on our server had a slash target our Aleus macro and literally was just spamming it. Hey, been there, dude. <laughs> I've been there, dude. <laughs> Who was it? 
Which guy was it, guys? <clears throat> hey, Lord Vio, you want to ban somebody for griefing? Oh, yikes. Okay. I know, I, I purposely didn't make it so you guys could see. He was spamming a macro that said slash target Arleus. What was what was the name of the guy? Is dispelling buffs considered griefing, Lord Vio? Watch Vio? the chat. Stream sniping to dispel buffs. Lord Vio. Eh? Send me the name. So it's this guy here, Lord Vio, who works for Blizzard, or what? About? Big brother. Oh, shit! Off main tanks. Yes? Where's Lord Vio? said yes. Lord Vio just said it was. GG. Who was it, guys? I'm looking at chat. It was Foot God X. Foot God X. From, Foot God X strikes um, again. Foot God X from Biggles. He's probably from fucking my community. Hey, that's like a, it sounds like a goddamn stay safe viewer. Worth, he spends about 50% of his week sitting at places de spelling people. I think if it's if it's targeted, if they literally have a target macro to so what he did, he was dead. So I can't show you guys. But he was dead. Clicked res the second that I got summoned while I was in loading screen and just started spamming it. Yeah. That's how they do it. So I guarantee you one minute ago, that's exactly what he did. That's how they do it. That happens to people all the time. There are people that are unliked on servers that aren't streamers. It happens. There, there's people in my guild. They don't stream. Uh, like they piss off someone on the on the other faction, and uh, they have a priest or a shaman make target macros. And they hunt them down. They get perched. That happens. Shit. That that shit happens all the fucking time. Even to not even to non streamers. To non streamers. There's a reason why. What do you never? And obviously he's doing it off screen. But he's doing it. He's doing it while he's live, but just off screen. What have you never seen me do on stream? Get a fucking get a get a song flower. Even the information he gave. All right, I'm taking a summon, guys. All right, I'm gonna get song flower right now. Give me a minute. I never get world buffs on stream. I never get world buffs because even though even if I don't show it, even if I sit here like this, even if even if I sit here like this, <clears throat> and but you guys know what I'm doing still, it's still super easily griefable because they know I'm out there, right? So I just do it. I honestly I get my world buffs at like fucking four in the morning. No one's online. Uh, read whispers. Yeah, okay, that's great. Um. I get my world buffs at like four in the morning when no one's online and we set up summoning alts and I don't stream it because I, I, I got I got to stay safe, man. So I still have <clears throat> stamina and I still have my rallying cry of the dragon slayer, but I lost everything else. Xerius, uh, Lord Vio is a, a, a mod. Wait, Lord Vio says if you're doing something that is described, it's griefing. It's not playing the game. Making a target macro and dispelling a player on the opposite faction on a PvP server is not playing the game? That's griefing? Come on. Come on. Get a fucking grip. Come on, dude. <clears throat> Come on. Dispelling isn't, but if they're griefing like that, if they're actually targeting somebody... How are you going to dispel someone if you can't target them? How... Yes, yeah, you, you have to use a mouse over macro. Bagelsworth. Yes. Blackhawk. He means repeatedly. Listen, dude, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the reality of being a streamer, okay? When you are broadcasting your location or you're sort of narrate, even if you're not visually broadcasting your location, like this guy, he tried to have it off screen. He's still sort of narrating and people know what he's doing. Like he's kind of talking about it. He's taking a break from farming so he can get his buffs on stream, even though it's visually not on stream. Um, as a streamer, just period in general, you open yourself up to a lot of uh, in-game, potential in-game harassment. There is a reason, like I, I have to, on stream, I have to play the game very differently than how I play the game off stream. On stream, <clears throat> I don't level alts past level 20. 
I do it off stream or I get dungeon boosted because the, I know the second I go to Red Ridge, I'm level 20. I go to Red Ridge. It's a PvP zone. What's going to happen within 10 minutes? Some horde stream sniper is going to show up and he's going to kill me. He's going to camp me. I'm not just going to sit there and fucking complain about it because I have the out. I, I can just flip my stream off. I don't have to stream, right? I can just flip it off. Like that, that's just... And here's the thing. If you ask me... The benefits of being a streamer, at least in my case, the benefits of being a streamer far, far, far outweigh the negatives of being a streamer, uh, which includes being camped in PvP zones potentially, or, you know, having my world buffs purged and people try to do, people try to do it all the time. That's, that's part of the way it goes. That's, that's my take. It's part of the way it goes. Well, he's going to keep talking about this. <clears throat> Let me see. Let me see. His chat, his chat is like, his chat's like, yeah, I don't think you can report for that. There's a ton of griefers on our server that have a list of all the main tanks on horde guilds and they do that. Yeah, that's true. These people are everywhere. Um, good luck tonight. Wasn't targeting you in particular. Um, like, even his own chat is like, dude, this isn't, uh, this isn't like harassment or griefing. This is just the way classic WoW is. I, I don't really know, man. <clears throat> I was... All I had to do was spam click the summon portal. What do you mean Santa all you Claus. had to do is spam click the summon portal? That wouldn't that wouldn't dispel me. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. There comes a point in every classic WoW streamer's career, and it's typically when they start getting more viewers, when more people watch, start watching them, they get start getting more attention. There comes a point in every classic WoW streamer's career when they realize Oh man, there are some negative, like, sometimes being a streamer in Classic WoW sucks. Man, sometimes I can't play the game 100% how I want at all times because I open myself to, I open myself, as a streamer, like I said, when you're broadcasting your actions, your gameplay, you're narrating what you do, you do, you open yourself up to a lot of potential harassment. Um, and it, it looks like we're watching that realization right now. <clears throat> Maybe. There's a lot of stuff I just don't do on stream. Because <clears throat> I know it's it's just it's just not worth the... the I think the, we did find Foot God X in chat. The annoyance. <clears throat> Sanic Classic. <clears throat> or just play a PvE server, dot, 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 dot. Playing on PvE servers is super uh, easily griefable also in different ways. In fact, uh, honestly, like, I had... I'd rather play on a PvP server as a streamer than on a PvE server. PvE servers are super, super griefable also. Welcome to your server. <clears throat> what? Bigglesworth? I've been here since pretty much day one. The best switch I mean, it's pretty much targeting bigger, I know, if I'm sitting there getting summoned and they res while summoning and then have a target macro to dispel me. So. Dude, this guy should play on Ferlina. Holy fuck. <sighs> hey. Hey, dude. Hey, listen, brother. Come to Ferlina. You will see, you will, like, this shit. <sighs> you, know, you know what happened? You guys saw it on stream. You know what happened when, when the sea raid last night? The VOD's still there. What happened when, when I tried to run the sea raid into Black Rock Mountain last night? We had to fight through one multi-boxer, two multi-boxer, three multi-boxers to get into the fucking orb room. We, we had to go through three different groups of multi-boxers to get our raid into the goddamn fucking black, uh, black, black wing layer. That's the way it goes, man. It's just the, it's the way it is. But you want to know why they were there? You want to know, know why they were waiting there for us? It's because I was streaming. And as a streamer, I have the option. I just flip it off. See this button right here? This thing. If I if I ever am not in the mood to 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 not deal with that shit, I'll just click this button right here. This button. I just click it, and then I don't have to deal with any of that shit, because they don't know where I am, right? Boop, boop, boop. It's easy. That's 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 how I do. that's what I do. <clears throat> I think the difference, guys, is that it's griefing when you target a specific individual. Like they were oh, listening. Come on. come on. When I was getting summoned. And then immediately summon me. Come on. No, no, no. Because it was mid-summon, Irish man. I lost two buffs. <clears throat> which means that literally while my body was rendering. Oh, your server. There was a horde player. I'm not going to say who it was. I'm not going to say what he did to me. But this guy fucked me. 
This was about two months ago. This guy fucked me. You want to know what I did? I have a Horde account. I have a level one Horde account, level one Torn. I multi box my level one Torn. I hunted this guy. I got some boys. <laughs> I got some boys of mine. I did slash who, username, he logged in. I was there, me and the boys. I camped this motherfucker. Me and the boys, <laughs> dead, boom, dead, boom, dead. His corpse, I camped him. I had a boy at the graveyard also. You're gonna spirit res? <laughs> You're not. We camped until he logged off. For about four days straight. I saw this guy, boom, you're not going anywhere. Is that harassment? Should I be banned for, should I be banned for that? <sighs> it's the game, dude. That's how you play the game. That's the game, dude. That's why I play this game. Fuck it. And he wasn't a streamer. He's not a streamer, right? So it obviously, it obviously, it, it happens. This sort of shit happens to non-streamers. How do I know? Because I'm the one that does it to him. That's how I know, dude. That's how I know what happens to him. Because I'm the one that, that makes it happens to him. Where's Erigo? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Xana Classic. My body was rendering and I lost two buffs. Gotta hit that invis pot before taking a summon. <coughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> that would do it, maybe. Unless he has detect invis up. <clears throat> Alright, well. Okay, so what happened after this? What happened after this? Uh, this is a blue post made by that guy. Uh, Kyvax. Hello, we take reports like this very seriously. Wait, so the original thread here is... God, where, where... Jesus Christ, holy fuck. Um, very top. Classic streamer gets priest spell or banned for six months. After this, who posted this? Barilla. God, I've got the hiccup, sorry. After this has come to light, is dispelling world buffs now a bannable offense? For reference, a priest on Bigglesworth was banned for six months on four accounts, all from the same IP. For dispelling a streamer, Gur Reefing. The streamer was streaming, as streamers tend to do, complaining about getting dispelled, saying that he was specifically targeted. A GM in his chat asked for the info and banned the priest about five minutes later. Is this something that is bannable? It appears the streamer asked the GM for the ban, then gifted the GM a sub for it. For those asking for timestamps, 31930 for the dispel, 32030 for the streamer asking for a ban. Edit, the priest has now been unbanned. <clears throat> Where's the blue post? Okay, so Kyvax responded uh, actually 27 minutes ago as of now. Hello, we take reports like this very seriously. Early this morning, we opened an internal investigation into the matter. While investigating, we overturned the suspension and reached out to the suspended player. Yeah, good, that's great to everyone who brought it to our attention. Thank you very much. This guy says, ridiculous. Thank you for the update. Thank you for the swift justice. Let me continue reading the Reddit thread. Um, so does this mean that dispelling is an actionable offense now, or do we all have to be streamers? Yeah, just be a streamer. Like, that's what I can say. Like, if, if you don't want to have to deal with any bullshit, just be a streamer. No, dude, being a streamer makes you have to deal with more bullshit. But here's the reality of being a streamer. If you don't want to deal with the bullshit, and sometimes I'm not in the mood to deal with it, I just don't stream. Like, I get my world buffs off stream. If I'm on a level and alt, past level 20 in the PvP contested zones, I'll typically not stream it. I, as a streamer, realize and recognize that if I'm streaming, I have to adjust my gameplay to not deal with a bunch of goddamn bullshit. And that's just the way it is. I don't run around complaining about it or asking GMs to ban people for it. I think if you broadcast yourself to potentially millions of, millions of viewers, millions... <sighs> He must be talking about me, because I have millions of viewers every single day watch me. There might even be 17 or 69, 69 million people watching, maybe even billions, maybe even 69 billion people are watching right now. Hold up, everyone count, listen, we'll count how many viewers we have. So someone say one, and then two, and then three, and then four, we're gonna count up, we'll see how many we have. Uh, okay, one, two, see, 69 billion. See, we're there, we're there already, 69 billion, yep, all right. Okay, potentially millions of viewers on a PvP server. Oh my god. <laughs> that is some hyperbolism. On a PvP server, it's a risk you're going to have to undertake. It is cryberry, crybaby bullshit and a way to engage fans and any complaining should 100% not be tolerated. People make stupid money off this shit playing the game and being entertainers, but so entertain. But have a better game slash community? Why avoid all the toxic crappy people in this game? Talk about that here in a second. Uh... So entertain somehow besides being a douche. Okay, the donation said, or the resub said, and Zappy, thank you, man. But wouldn't it be better to have a better game slash community? I think one of the great things about Classic WoW is that you can, uh, you know, interact with other... Like, this is World of Warcraft. 
You pick a faction. The first choice you make ever playing this game is what faction? Horde or Alliance? And then you pick your class and you pick your race and you pick your gender, okay? But the first decision you have to make when you play this game is World of Warcraft. And believe it or not, in World of Warcraft, when you select a PvP server, you are opting in. You have the choice. You can play on a PvE server and you can pick your faction, but when you specifically intentionally, it's one of the first choices you make, my pick a PvP in server. Marine boot camp and told me in a letter to remember to reach up to you and say hello. So hello. Smile. God bless. Thank, thank the troops. Hey, Toxic, thank you, dude. Listen, when you choose to play on a PvP server in World of Warcraft, you are opting in to this sort of gameplay. You can kill other players in-game. You can purge their buffs. That's why, you want to know, you want to know why shamans and priests have these dispel, these purge abilities? It's so you can purge and dispel other players and bosses sometimes. If Blizzard back then didn't want, didn't want these abilities to be used on other players, you know what they could have done? Make them unusable on other players, but they didn't. That's the way the game is. And if you don't like the game, don't play the game. Drama started on our server because an ally raid team, uh, raid stream sniped a big horde guild and took their buffs. You don't want to... T.S. my damn second amendment right OB toxic in video games. Less than three. You don't want to hurt, I think he says, you don't want to get stream sniped, don't fucking stream your raid, or summon, or whatever. Oftentimes, that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, sometimes I don't stream my raids if I don't want to deal with the bullshit. True. Like, if we're doing a Black Canary speedrun, and I have 40 people in my raid that I'm raid leading, and we have War Chief's Blessing, and we've spent, you know, two days raid logged, and a bunch of gold is on the line, we're doing a speedrun, we're trying to, you know, parse and get, get a good time. Any of that preparation... I don't stream it. Don't stream it. It's not worth it. You don't see any of the top killed stream their speedrun prep because they know that it's such a volatile, critical time period that it, and it's so easily griefable. So people don't do it. I don't do it. What the heck do you think is going to happen when equally tryhard guilds are on the opposite faction? The race to the bottom has only gotten worse. Luckily, no rogues sapping Ani resets so far. Isn't Blizzard going to change that? Or Blizzard already did change the Ani reset sapping thing or the stunning thing? I don't watch streamers. Thanks. Twitch is pretty much definition of cancer. I think that cancer is a little bit worse than Twitch. Don't you think? You know, potentially fatal disease, kills your loved ones, uh, very hard to combat, uh, high death rates. Uh, you know, to combat it, you have to take chemotherapy. It's pretty bad. Like, it's not good at all. Comparing that to Twitch, Twitch chat, you got some silly memes. Everyone post your silliest meme face. Everyone post your silliest face. Show me how silly you are. Let me see let me see all the faces you guys know how to make. See, that's way better than cancer. You guys aren't cancer. Cancer's way worse than you guys. You guys aren't even near nearly as bad as cancer. <sighs> cancer. Last thing I watched was an arena tournament a couple years back, but I really don't understand what the heck do people expect. You're asking to be griefed in a contested zone, roll PvE. And even PvE servers <sighs> can be griefed if you're a streamer, but I'm not gonna highlight in detail how to do that, because why would I? Anyway, <clears throat> oh boy. Anyone attacking a big streamer is at risk. Doesn't matter if you just happen to find them in the world. They'll cry, stream sniper and get you banned. How many times, okay, other than this Arlia situation, uh, which was seemingly rectified pretty quickly. When has a, uh, other than this instance, when has a streamer said, stream sniper, you're banned? When has that happened? I, li listen man, hey. <sighs> I, I don't think it's that easy. Blizzard values them far more than the average player as they are free advertising for the game. Uh, I mean, honestly, like, uh, that's probably, like, let's be real, that's probably true. That's not even ego. That, that's just probably true. Like, there's a reason why uh, Blizzard gives streamers, like, beta keys and alpha keys. It's because it, it is literally free advertisement. Like, that's probably true to some extent. I don't know if Blizzard looks at it that way, but yeah, like, ultimately, yeah, probably true. Uh, it's the same reason that every streamer, even non-WAF streamers, get randomly picked for alphas and betas of expansions. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that's that's definitely true. Um, I mean, yeah, like if you're a Blizzard, why would you pay a million dollars for an advertisement on television or you know, like like banner ads on a on a website when you can just have Asm Gold uh, stream your uh, your game for free, right? To to a hundred thousand people, of course. Yeah, it just makes total sense. Um, so I don't know. Like, I'm really. It sounds like this guy got unbanned. Big Brother. Did this guy get fired? Did Lord Viho, this guy who was a GM for Blizzard, he got fired? Is that what you guys were saying? Let me take a look here. How, how do you know that? Yes? 
how do you know that? Is there a blue post or what? Apparently, rumor says he got fired. Okay, well, let me ask you this. There's a Reddit thread here. What is this? <clears throat> um, let me put this right here. Where does it say that? That GM really wanted to get into the pants of a no-name streamer, huh? Pretty much the... Where, where does it say that? I'd take the stuff about the GM with a massive grain of salt for now. The only indication that this is the case comes from the person who kicked off the shit show. Not exactly the most reliable source. Edit Foot God X breathes um, as a free man. Uh, interview the guy who purged the streamer? Why? Why? He's, he's just some guy that purged some other guy on a PvP server. You think he's going to have some crazy take? He's just, a, uh, I don't know if he was a priest or a shaman, he purged another player. Wow, yeah, but, well, yeah, we gotta see what that guy has to think. Who fucking cares? Who cares what that- It doesn't matter. Like, it, it's- this is just commonplace behavior on a PvP server. There's nothing really special about this at all. Uh, what is this? What's this Discord image? Let me see what this is. Uh, let me open this up. <clears throat> let me load this. Hold up. Why do you- why do you guys think that the Blizzard staff got fired? This Discord image is not loading, by the way. I don't know what that says. Uh, these guys are taking the spelling to a new level. Watch the video next. Uh, maybe, man. Let me see. This Discord image. Let me load this up. Your Discord images are not loading. I can't open those, man. I don't know why they're not loading. Oh, you know what? Discord is down. Yeah. Even... Yeah, Discord is died. Discord died. Okay, not working. All right. Well, rip. Yeah, listen. Anyway, here. Uh, I'm probably going to throw this on YouTube, my reaction to this. So, guys, listen. <sighs> you know, it is what it is. Tough situation. The guy obviously shouldn't have been banned in the first place. This was an egregious misuse of power by the Blizzard. Let me ask you this. In conclusion, listen. Should this Blizzard staff member, should he be fired? I don't know if he has been. I, I, I don't know if anyone has confirmation. Should he be fired? Should the Blizzard staff member, the GM, be fired for responding to the streamer? So he's obviously watching the streamer in the chat. I'd say it was a pretty big misuse of GM powers. Hell no. I think it was a pretty big misuse of GM powers. <clears throat> I don't know why that alert didn't go off. Honestly, like, I, I'd say probably, yeah. Like, I, I think, yeah. It was, it was a pretty big and egregious misuse of GM powers. Yeah, I, I, I would say probably.